What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have rolled out first developer preview based on Android 13 for OnePlus 10 Pro. So in this video, let's find out what all changes OnePlus have done on Android 13 for OnePlus 10 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 10 Pro towards the right hand side. We'll be comparing it with our OnePlus 8 which is running Oxygen OS 12. First let me show you the software information here going to about section and here you can see Android version says Android 13 which comes with 5th April 2022 security patch. If you talk about the version it says C.01. And guys to install you just have to download the application called oneplus local update application and also download the android 13 developer preview zip file place them inside the internal storage later open oneplus local update application tap on the gear icon towards the right top corner and select the file which you placed installation might take around three to five minutes once it's done you can reboot your device and before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video also we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so now let's take a look at the ui changes so basically as said i personally did not find much of ui changes you can see quick setting tiles looks almost similar with no changes but there are some changes like whenever you press the volume button and tap on the three dots this is the new media panel what you get to see but if you take a look on oxygen os this is how it looks and the same thing goes with the power button too long pressing on power button here we have a new slider to restart or turn off the device towards the bottom side we have this emergency and if you take a look at oxygen os 12 everything is on the top side in between we have power off restart and towards the left hand side emergency now let's talk about the launcher so let's open up launcher i did not find any changes here everything seems to be similar on oxygen os 12 and oxygen os 13 developer preview so the permission pop-up size have also been increased you can see we have a bigger size pop-up compared to android 12. so wallpaper section remains exactly same swiping towards the right hand side we have the google feed and shelf is not present on oxygen os 13 developer preview right now which they have already mentioned in the known issues and guys this is a first developer preview in future we'll see more changes in the ui and we'll also have more features camera ui i did not see any kind of changes everything remains same i have taken the screenshot for the comparison part but i couldn't find any changes in the camera ui we still don't get system wide search on developer preview gallery layout also seems to be similar with no changes at all now let's go to settings and see what all changes they have done so in the settings you'll see little bit of changes in the ui and here you can see we do get the colored icons in front of every section or you can say every settings but that wasn't the case here we have a static color depending on the essence color which you have set on your device but here we have different color palettes under wi-fi no changes at all on developer preview now we get to see wallpaper and personalization instead of only personalization so let's open it up again you'll see no changes i think bit of layout has been changed and the reason behind that we don't get canvas aod feature and here you can see we have chinese text on the top side we still don't have the support of wallpaper color picking for the fingerprint animation we have almost everything same same goes with the horizon light we only have three options and one thing which i have noticed text is bit bolder here on developer preview under display and brightness you'll see this thick brightness slider which looks a bit awkward battery section remains same we don't have any additional options we do have the same stuff high performance mode optimized battery use and other stuff you won't even have work-life balance on developer preview. One-handed mode is exactly same what we have seen on the previous builds of Oxygen OS 12. Under gestures and motion, they have also removed lift to ear to make calls. RAM boost feature is also missing on Oxygen OS 13 and there are also UI glitches. Let me show you. So if we open up settings and if we directly go to the homepage, you can see that popping up of the same application whenever we try to go back to the previous app or whenever we open the different app. So there are some UI glitches here and there and I won't recommend you guys to install developer preview 13 on your OnePlus smartphone if it is your primary phone. 
but if you guys want to try it out you can anytime go ahead and install also you'll have the issues with the notification panel here you can see we just launched the game and this is how the notification from game space application appears and guys there is nothing new at all few minor changes are present on this developer preview wait for few more builds if you get to see more changes and more features i'll update you guys about the same thing but trust me right now there's nothing on android 13 and if i find more features i'll do a detailed video and also you guys let me know whether you want a complete review on this build or not and before that i'll use my oneplus 10 pro as a daily driver so guys these are some of the minor ui changes what i personally found on oxygen os 13 developer preview one as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day